to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. As you can see by the title, it is this month's month bang, which is mum's favourite one. My favourite, my favourite. <laughs> We're a little bit delayed because Chinese New Year has been, but we are having a little Chinese night. We've used the uh, Tesco. Was these, you said it weren't three for two, was it? No, no, a bit late for that. So we've just got some bits and bobs. You'll see an overview, but we've got some shredded duck as a main with some chicken chow main, some crispy chicken balls and spring rolls. Mum has snuck in her My bowie favorite. buns. Mm -mm. We've got some egg fried rice and then your typical spring rolls and Chinese selection. Yeah, and you we've like got, them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we've got the uh, the little parcels viewers. Mum likes them. And uh, prawn toast. toast. Yes, they are the best bits. Yes. So as always, you will see an overview, and then the next thing you'll see. We'll be on the bed, stuffing our face, and drinking on a big platter. Yes, Mum's got her drink as always. And we will see how this goes. Half of it's microwave, half of it's oven. So mm -hmm. hopefully in about 40 minutes, we shall be ready to sit down, stuff our face, and answer your questions. Because yeah. there is a lot in this month. So oh, well, uh, be good. I think they're good ones. I don't tend to read them. I literally just screenshot them. Oh, well, and I... then I leave them for the thing. But yeah. as you can see, Mum is eagerly. She wants to get the food on the go. And let's start stuffing our faces. Guys, you will have seen there we have food galore. We've got hoisin buns, make your own pancakes, hoisin sauce, sweet chili, and sweet and sour. Mum has her drink, <laughs> but we have plenty to go through wow. and a lot of food I to love go this through. Time. You do like a bit mm. of a McBang, don't you? Mm. I'm just going to quickly tuck into my chow mein because what? Tesco chow mein ain't too bad. How much was all of that food? Uh, 20. 2350 or something, I've got the receipt. That's not too bad. Could you, you put the cushion down a bit more so I can sit up right? Thank you. I have to wedge it with cushions and cushions back. Right. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Because you've got a side selection, rice, make some duck pancakes. Right. I'm going to make this. Hi, you two lovely ladies. If you were running the country, what things would you change and what would be your priorities? Uh, I would make sure that the old people get their pension early. At yeah. sixty. Well, see, I'd like make pensions like you get. You can choose to have your pension at whatever age, right? Or you can have like your pension when you're say late twenties, thirties. Oh, right, bring it forward, yeah. And like have it for travelling. Yeah, yeah. I would bring in like free travel or discounted travel for youngsters because going to London all the time, guys, it's enough costly for you. It is for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely think, I think that I would put more support for armed forces. Yeah, yeah. And I would do something for the uh, homeless that are sleeping on the streets, Shan. Mm -hmm. You know? It's just I can't say too much, isn't it? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Our yeah, current yeah. government, I don't think it's no. worth a toss. No. I'll put it blankly. No. You don't like to swear on you, are you? Worth well, a toss, I ain't swearing. Oh, okay then. I was going to say something else, but it's, it's similar. <laughs> That's the worst one. Yeah, yeah. But it's just so sad, isn't it? But they fought for us. And they can't get nothing. They're sleeping on the street. And I'd make it so that the working people aren't always the ones who get penalised. No. Because I feel like the only people who seem to get penalised... Are the workers. Are the working class. The rich high toss don't get it. <clears throat> of course they don't. But um, they've reduced the national insurance. Well, you're going to... Will you be £500 a year better off? I don't know. I'm sure there'll be a way of in which it will come back around that and they'll it'll get taken it. in something yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. The one that needs to be dropped is the tax. But I think... 20% tax. I think in this election, he's trying to do the Chancellor main, Jeremy Hunt... Uh, he's he's trying to drop it a couple of pence. You mean percent? No, a couple of pence off the tax. Where you pay 20p uh, in the pound there, he's trying to drop it to 18p. 
but is it, yeah, but is that going to be a great deal? I don't know because I think they say they make these deductions. I'm like, but where do you see them? So you don't benefit in your wages? No. It's not a massive thing. So if they say four hundred pounds a year, on average, that's like thirty pound a month. Just over, like, you're not really going to see that no. because the cost of living's gone up. Yeah. If they said, like, £100 a month, weren't it? Mm. Yeah. You'd see that as a noticeable. I would make... But would you vote, Shannon? I've never voted. No, me neither. I've never voted, and people will probably say, well, if you don't vote, you can't moan for who gets in. I don't know. Whoever's going to get in, who they want to get in, will get in. But I think half the time they're rigged anyway. But it's not going to sort the country out, whoever's in, is it? I think, well, they said that we're just hitting a recession again. We've oh. took the negative dip into a recession or something. Oh. So. But I think in the in the paper it said, the man said that we're sort of not too bad, but he's going to try and look at uh, dropping the mortgage payments and that now. Because the uh, inflation is 4% or something, whatever that means. Well, Have apparently, no, no, no all right. <laughs> apparently, we've only just finished paying off one of the world wars. Oh, like eight years later. Oh, so I think then, with the big sea outbreak, how many years is that going to be to pay off that? Because they borrowed yeah, millions, of millions, that. yeah. But you've got the people who who've done fraudulently claimed, haven't you? Hmm? They should be pulling that all back in. So um, I think to sum up, what would we change and what would be our priorities? We would actually make the workers a bit better off. Probably take a bit from the people who can afford to the rich maybe yeah. yeah see that little dip in it, and make sure that people like servicemen and homeless people, like the right people, are looked after. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be uh, our thing. I tell you what, I haven't made duck pancakes for years. Do you remember when we used to get the big duck? Mm, mm. I don't no, think no. you can get that anymore. With the spring onion and the cucumber, isn't it? That's it. I don't think you can get a big duck anymore, can you? What, a whole duck? In the, in the shop, it had half a duck, but that was eight pen. But the ducks ain't the size they used to be. No. Hi, my lovely. Looking forward to it. How do I stop feeling lonely? Even though I have my family around me, it's not like I have mum and dad as they passed away. And I haven't got my best friend anymore. She's also with the angels. Don't get me oh. wrong. I have a partner. But if a day things to him, he thinks I'm being nasty. Oh, no, don't feel lonely. I think. No, but sometimes, just lately, Shannon, I've had the meltdowns, haven't I? I've been going through like a belated menopause. What, me? <laughs> no, but it's not just like, you know, it's not gradually. It just like from 0 to 100 straight away, isn't it? And that's not me. I laugh. No, but it wasn't very nice because that image I have in my head, Shannon, of you there, that's what upsets me, you know? When mum has a temper tantrum, as I call them. Very rare, isn't it? <laughs> I, she, she'll throw her toys at the camera and she'll go, leave me alone. And I'll say, calm yourself, Dan. And now listen to me. No, you and didn't say that, did you? I will reevaluate. On the last escapade, no, but you said. Mum was like, "Get out, get out," and I was like, "Calm yourself down and listen to me." No, that's not what you said. You went, "Stop shouting, <laughs> to stop to like screaming, <laughs> stop banging," <coughs> and I was <coughs> pushing you out the room. When I really shouting, get your hands yeah. off and sit down. And then you, that vision of you, Mum, calm down. No. No, what you're saying, Mum, it's not my fault, it's not. <laughs> and sort of after when I, I melted down, wasn't it? When I come down to like 25 from 125, when you told me things, that's why I said to you that night, are we okay in the next morning? But that image is still in my head, Jen. But I find it funny because my... <laughs> no, it's not funny, Jen. <laughs> it's so frustrating. And I look at it and I'm like, you're like a little gonk. And I'm just like... Calm yourself down. Yeah, but Shane, you've got to remember I'm 64. I'm not having But if people... I start laughing, it aggravates them more. So I'm just like, calm yourself down. 
Are you gonna let me talk? Are you done frying your wobbler? And then she'll go, yes. I'm like, right, sit down and let me explain. No, but, but it was out of character, Sham, wasn't it? What I would say is if you're feeling lonely, I understand you have your partner in that, find a hobby or something that you enjoy. Yeah. Because I think if times get a bit thingy and you feel or go for a stressed walk. or alone, yeah, get out into the fresh air or Mumsy's colouring. I mean, I should have just chucked the colouring book at you and said yeah, to yeah. colour by numbers. No, I'm sorry, Sarah. Yeah. I see, I could have been mean there and give you the sweet chilli. No, don't do that. No, just dip it in because I won't have is sweet it hot? and sour. No, sweet and sour's not. No, but is it hot, hot? No, have you boiled it? No, it's just a sauce. Oh. Is it cold on me? Oh, it's just a oh, sauce oh. on my jar. Oh. <laughs> Chinese, it's hot, isn't it? <laughs> Well, oh. This is make do Chinese yeah, yeah. from Tesco, um, but I would say like find a hobby. Like for me, if things get like full, I go to my journaling or I read because it detaches you. Yeah, yeah. I'll do my colouring, do not. Well, you weren't doing your colouring that no. night, was you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come and find her like scratching the paddle thing. But just speak to him. I would say if you feel lonely and your partner's there, communication I think is a big thing. Oh. And loneliness, loneliness is a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, but I think... I didn't realise how many people got lonely. Yeah. It is a common thing yeah, people yeah. getting lonely, but I think it's how you Deal with tackle it. it, yeah. And if you can find ways to overcome it. Oh, that's what I like. Do you remember the nice fatty skin bits on the duck? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but so my inbox is always open. But yeah, I definitely think, like as Mum said, go for a walk maybe. Or a hobby. Like karate. Well, you know you were saying about crocheting? Yeah. Apparently, hobby craft do lessons. People oh. have sent me links to send you on a little day trip. Okay, then. But you just take me walk. The No, you get everything there. Oh, right. You pay for the day and you get all like your beginner kit there. Because you go just like that, innit? <laughs> and I could maybe make that little gunk that you bought me. I'll drop mum off to day class like she's a child. I'll say, see you in about six hours. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye, mummy. Bye. <laughs> if you had one wish, what would it be? I think mine a bit slimmer. Because I've got to go in the drum soon, innit? I? <laughs> I should probably get stuck in there. Mum would be on limit travel. Yeah. I think maybe mine just... Be as I am, but healthy and happy. A bit more healthier, isn't it? Well, we say that as we're tucking him. Yeah, yeah. To try. <laughs> Not a question. Love you both loads. Just want to say, Mama G, I love that you're going out and living your best life. Thank you. As are you, Shannon, and BB makes you happy. Shannon, what is your birthstone? No, you have said, but it's so long. My birthstone's emerald. Green, isn't it? Yours is ruby, I think, for July. Red. Yeah, ruby. yeah. Mine's emerald, which is why I think I loved my green hair so much. Mm, that was beautiful, wasn't it? And I like green in my clothing and bags. Yeah, and look, look at that lovely coat that I bought you. Green. Wasn't I do it? like emerald. I think emerald's very classy. Yeah, yeah. But I have noticed that not a lot of jewellers do emerald. Or if they do emerald, they do it in yellow gold and not white gold. What, the most popular it? ones are ruby and sapphire that I've seen. Oh, that's me. But, no. We did... Oh, someone's revving a car right there. We, we did see a nice thing, didn't we, in the shop where we live? Hmm? Oh, you're saying that. I can't right. remember who it was. Someone commented and said, um, on one of the videos, I think it was by you by the door, and they said, it's so weird seeing outside the front door and seeing other houses because people thought we had fields opposite us. Oh, that's strange, isn't it? Unfortunately not. No. I'd rather have horses to look at than half of yeah, my neighbours, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. They'd probably be a lot less um, problematic. Mm. Hello, fabulous ladies. Love your channel. Thank you. Just wondering, who were your role models growing up and why? Mum was Jean-Claude Van Damme. Well, Mum was... Getting into my karate. No, but Mum was really sort of like Nanny G. To just progress and be happy and just make... Whatever you've got, make good of it. You know? Was there any celebrities or influencers you looked up to? 
Not really, just then. Because she was like, just be happy in yourself. Mm. You know? I did like Jean-Claude Van Damme, as I say. I got put into martial arts as a kid, so... That was the person whose films I'd always watch. And who I was always like, oh! I want to be like that. Still could never do the splits. I got really close, but... Never fully, fully he's, down. He's very supple, isn't he? Are you having the sweet chilli? No. You're just going to stick with sweet sour? Yeah, yeah. If you're invisible for a day, who would you spy on? My next door neighbour. Yeah. I. <laughs> Defo. We've got our own um, assumptions of what's going on in that household, yeah. and I'd love to be a fly on the wall. Mm. I'd, I'd be a bee in the in the house. I'd do next door and you could do upstairs. Yeah, yeah. We'd have them both tackled that. Yeah. What's the first thing you'd do if you woke up one day as the opposite sex? Oh. Uh, go and have a nice pair of trousers I've made. Oh, I'd say I would have gone outside and had a wee. What, just to prove that you're that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's so much easier for guys than it is a woman. They literally can just go anywhere. Yeah, just whip it out. We can't. Yeah, <coughs> squat. Um, except when you're a small child, you can just mum and you lift you up and do that, innit? Well, I didn't think you'd be lifting me up at 28 years old. No, no. <laughs> well, you don't. And I certainly can't lift me up. You up. <laughs> all right, all right. If someone in your workplace had bad hygiene, would you be able to approach them and tell them I'd have to? Yeah, I would. Not nastily. No, I'd just say, uh, yeah. I'd just say, it's a problem, roll them up. Roll them up. I'd be like, I think you might just need a bit of a spruce up. If they say yeah. why, I'd just say, have you been like working out this morning or something? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just don't be horrible. Up. Yeah. But yeah, I'd have to tell them. Name five qualities every good friend should have. What would yours be, Mother? Well, my good friend is, uh, she's happy. We can have a good laugh. Uh, she's there if if uh, you want to have that little whatever. Uh, very special in your life because you get one friend that you can sort of do whatever, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, I can sink a pipe faster than her. <laughs> <laughs> My five qualities. Honest. Tell it how it is. Like really kind of, of kind of psycho no, that's not, like me. Yeah, yeah. You have to have like we the have to be on the up. same level so yeah. that if I say like I'm gonna go smash a car tonight, she's like, I'm there, I'm joining you. Um funny and like a ride or die. I think they're all in mine. Yeah, my friend's good. Mm hmm What age did you first get drunk and do you remember what you were drinking? She was probably in the womb drinking with me. No, no. I was Nan probably there. still drunk with you, didn't she? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I remember I was thirteen <clears throat> and I went to the disco at the bottom of the road and I was drinking disco. cherry beef. Your older viewers will know that, Shan. And I'll come Spicy. back and I went in my bed because Sylvie was living up with her. Uh, my sister was up with Nan. And I was mortal and I was ill and I was shouting out to Dad, Dad, help me, I'm hemorrhaging. He said, what have you been drinking? I said, cherry bee. Well, that's what it is. Oh. And I was only 13. It's like strong... It's like your older viewers might remember a uh, barley wine. That's a thing like in the olden days, you could only have a few and you would be squibby. Was it like natural? Uh, cherry B. I think it was like a powerful version of Baby Chef. Oh, yeah. Pardon me, it was out in that rain. Cherry, cherry B. Do they and still do it now? Oh, I don't think so. I've never looked. 
I've seen Snowball. Mm. And I've seen Baby Sham. Oh, I love a Baby Sham. And also, I got drunk one night on uh, going up to the club with Nan and Granddad. I was swigging Chisano Bianco out the bottle. And I went in the toilet and I got shot in the toilet. What's that? It's like a... You know, like a, a white spritzer thing? You can have Chisano and lemonade. You heard of that? Right. Is well, it like, like a rum? No, 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 no. It was just like a... In the olden days, it was like Chinzano Bianco, red Chinzano, vermouth, or it was like a green one, which was white. And you could put mixers in it. Oh. But I was swigging it on the bottle, and I went to the toilet at the club, and the next thing, nobody could find me, and I was trapped in the thing. Sparkle. You've got a thing getting trapped in toilets. Yeah, yeah. Have you done that again when you was older? Yeah, because I, I, I was drinking K-Cider. Yes, yeah, and I got stuck in the toilet, and the ambulance man had to jump over and help me out. You got a thing with yeah, and uh, toilets. Maybe I can't remember. I used to like dabble. It'd only be like Wicked or Smirnoff. It didn't really interest me. You didn't really eat drink like a the lot. Glen's vodka and all that. I probably say one of the first times I got absolutely rat assed was at his house. No, when I went Malia. Up the stairs. Oh, no, right. before that with your cousin. Yeah, me and my cousin snuck out of the window when we was in Crete for my uncle's wedding, legged it down to Malia, what we thought was a 20-minute walk. It actually ended up being an hour because we'd done it again the next day. And, yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know how I got myself back because we lost each other on the strip and I ended up walking back. Really she did. She got a cab back. Yeah, yeah, but I felt so safe out there. I was given a panic button. I was sitting in the window of one of the clubs because I was hoping to see. I probably think you you was going to sell your wares. I had a button, then when people come talk to me, and I didn't want to talk to my press it, and the bouncers were taken oh, away. Oh, that's nice. Got my McDonald's and then staggered home, and then just kept falling up the steps to my partner at the time, having to like drag me in. And there's me at like I think I got back about four in the morning, and you jumping on room? the bed. Ooh ah Malia, ooh ah Malia. So then all of a sudden being like, oh, I don't feel too well. Mm. And him like having to grab my head and just shove me at the toilet. And there's an iconic photo of me in white bra and white undies, bleach blonde hair, just hugging this toilet. And then the next morning, me and but my cousin done it, got an almighty slap from our nan. Because no one knew where we was. We'd just run. The eldest granddaughter and the youngest granddaughter. Gone. We've all done it through life, haven't you? If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? Shannon, it can't be Jean-Claude Van Damme. And Mum, it can't be Tom Jones. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe Mickey Flanagan. Somebody who makes me laugh. Alan Carr. Mum is gay. So? Um... Know. <clears throat> it'd have to be someone who's got like <clears throat> it'd have to be someone to make me laugh yeah. and someone who's like intelligent in a way like smart yeah yeah because your brain is yeah. I should know little sugar it's a bit too old for me, Marge. That might be me, yeah. Um. Oh, I don't know. I don't really watch much TV now, guys. I only watch oh, I Netflix and YouTube. Probably someone like the food review guy. What that man? He likes his food. He's smart with business, and he's actually quite funny when you watch him on TV. And what you see is what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, talking of that, we need to just change that. When was the last time you laughed so hard that you cried? Oh, wait yourself. Laughed. My mum was probably at the cabin and then I started having a coughing fit. Did you? Because we was playing this card game and it's like you can't, if you laughed, you had to drink. And Dan was doing something and I'm like, I, I can't what laugh. All that drink was there. What, what's going on? And then I couldn't laugh and I was like, at the end, after the 30 seconds, I just, I creased. Then I started having a coffee fit. You had to get down on all fours and he had to, he had a card to so say, get your partner down on all fours. Oh, no, I don't want to know. 
and pretend you're milking a cow. Oh my god! And he was like, "Hey, Marianne, have we got any milk in here?" And I'm he like, "He's doing that to your boobies, was he?" He just stood up. He's going, "No, come, come on, Marianne, give me some milk here." And I'm like, <laughs> as soon as that thing buzzed, I was like, "What the hell?" And then we was just rolling around in the floor laughing. And uh, I had to do one to him. Think. I was a mock a uh, hummingbird. And it said, imagine you're a hummingbird and your partner has like the sweetest nectar and just attack them. So I like jumped on him and pretended to be like a bird. And then I had like my little fins and was like that. And then I went, ooh, ooh, ooh. And he just cracked. He went, what are you doing? That's like an owl, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he went, I ain't a bird. I was like, oh, well. I won on that one. I was just trying to think what made me laugh. Some big comedy on the TV. I was going to say, probably a Michael TV Michael McIntyre, mate. Yeah. Which I'm missing, but I'll watch it on plus one. I'm seeing him this year. Yeah, you are, aren't you? You don't like Michael McIntyre. No, but I like The Wheel. Oh. You could have had tickets to come yeah, see him with me, no. but you said, I don't like him that much. No, because it's his voice, Jen. I'm hoping I don't get picked on. But you're staying in the hotel or not? Yeah, but I'm going to be front row with a bright colour hair. What colour are you going to? Don't know yet. Oh. And then he'll say, Oh, who are you here with? I'll be like, I'm on my own. Oh, give me your phone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, no. Dan said, Would you give him your phone? I'll be like, Yeah, there's certain things you can't go on, Michael. As in, it'd be like, Should we call Mum? I said, It'd be like, Hello. And he'd say, Well, hello, it's Michael McIntyre. I said, Mum probably be like, I'll stop pissing around, Shan. I'm watching the TV. <laughs> I'll be like, Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'll say, Who's got this phone? You're taking the pee. <laughs> oh. No, it's Michael McIntyre. But we, we've seen our man in May, haven't we? Oh, Ramesh, we're uh, in the hotel then. Uh, You're staying in a swanky hotel at the O2. Look at you. What, is, what day is it on? Saturday. Oh. I think it starts... Starts at six or seven. Oh. But we're staying in the actual... We're staying where I stay for Dermot, the Intercontinental at the O2, if you know oh, London, guys. Sorry. Have I paid my bit? No, I've paid for this. <laughs> no, when when do we have to pay? I've already paid, I think. Yeah, but have I paid my half? No. <laughs> oh, well, you I'll need to tell me. Oh. Well, you can pay for the food while we're up there. All right, then. Okay. I'll be having unlimited steak all night. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> Are there any places you wouldn't want to visit around the world? And if not, why? I wouldn't like to go to some dangerous places. No, Just I obviously because it's dangerous. I'd like to go to the cartel thing, you know, in Brazil. <laughs> it's me saying not dangerous. Mum's like, I want to go no, to the cartel. I'll, yeah, and I, I'd like to see that man, but he's passed away now. Who? <clears throat> that man, El somebody, wasn't it? El, El Capone? Da no, not El Capone. Uh, Escapado or something. The uh, Pablo bone. Escobar. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I'd like to meet him and just said, let's have a beer, Pablo. Yeah. But it's very dangerous to be there, isn't it? And you will let me go to Colombia? No, no, no. Hot kettle black, mother. Mm. Would you ever consider going on Gogglebox? Yeah. When I move out, Mum will have a living room so she can apply for Gogglebox on her own. Yeah, I will do <laughs> Get some extra income in. Thank you. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, and here we have Mama G one night, and then I'm back for a night. I'll be sitting there. What do you think, Mama G? Mm? Oh, look at that. No, no. <laughs> what is one thing you'll both miss by each other when Shannon eventually moves out? The bang nights. Mum, you're still going to have bang nights. Oh, are we? I said, Mum seems to think that when I go, I'll be gone forever. I was like, I'll still be home three, four times a week. I can. I'll still be back three, four times a week. Oh. <laughs> so I won't be back three, four times a week. Yeah. I was like, I'll probably be back a couple of days in the week because it'll be probably closer for work because where I'm looking, I've got to look at uh, uh. And then if I'm free on a weekend, I'll be down here. Oh, well, I could come up there. Hmm? Well, worry about the house because there's nothing in it to take then, is it? <laughs> Mum, Mum might actually start leaving the house now. Mm. Believe it. 
<laughs> but um, there won't be any changes. You'll still be having the McBangs, and the only thing that will change will be the backdrops. We might be eating this at, say, a kitchen table or a sofa. What, in your ass? Maybe, or we can do it back here. Oh. Let us know if, whenever I move, how would you still want, would you want, like, the videos like this still at Mum's? Because, obviously, the decorating will stay the same. We'll just change things. No, but tell them what I'm going to have in this, Jen, when well, this is gone. She just wants a sofa and a table. A sofa, a table for my little uh, wine, and a little table for my TV, which Dodo's going to have to tune in. I'll just let him know. You tell him. Mm. Just wanted to send you and Mama G lots of love, and you're both amazing. Love watching you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you set yourself budgets each month for clothes, makeup, etc.? No. I'm not a budgeter either. No. I can't help it. I have a shock sometimes when my card bill comes in. Yeah. And I'm like, oh! No, but last month, Louis, it was very good, wasn't it? Very good. I said to our viewers, my God, what's happening, Shannon? Very good. But normally it's not good. No. But obviously now, and you know, you're looking, in it? I know, but I'm still not going to begrudge myself if I see something and I want something. I won't tell you. Just buy an £800 Vivian Westwood bag, Shannon, you know? <laughs> Whatever takes your vote, isn't it? No, but I think I work long okay. hours. Yeah, I know you do, baby. As long as the bills are paid. Yeah. I've got a little bit put by. Yeah. And I don't see what the problem is. And uh, I told you that thing for the car carpets if you see any wear in it. <laughs> you know? But no, I should really budget, but I don't, guys. I always think, like, right, this month I'll just so do short, that. I think one thing that is saved on the pennies. What's that? Me and Dan haven't been eating lunch at. No, at no. Work. We have maybe once a week. That's changed there, hasn't it? Because we could spend sometimes £20 a day. Mm. That all adds up. Now we might have one costa on a Friday as like a treat. That's all right. I hope he's got plenty in that in that wages this week, boy. Because <laughs> when I eat him with that bill, he's going to go, Oh, my God! I think Mum's... I think the shopping... The um, washing bill and rent is more than us going out now. So that money that Dan pays here is probably less than what we used to spend on like a monthly basis going out eating. Mm -hmm. And we've like cut that right back. We go out now. Wait, how do you feel about that? Oh, we still go out, but if say on our But weekend, I mean, you're not having the coffee every day. So how do you feel about not having the coffee? We Same do miss it sometimes. Yeah. But we'll just take like little sachets and have it that way. But, but then when we have... have it once a week. We do have it once a week. Yeah. We'll have it normally on a Friday. Oh, and then right. when we do have it, you appreciate it more. Yeah. And then say, like, when it's our weekend, if we're out on a Saturday up London or whatever, on the Sunday we'll go out, but we'll do, like, a big hike. So then, like, we're not spending both days. Right. That's how we're trying to rein things in at the moment. Shan, I listen to most of the books you recommend. I use Audible. I love Murder and Gangster. Oh. Amen to that. I have anxiety. How can I help myself? Love you, Mama G. Oh, that's cute. I would say don't let things overwhelm you, which is probably very stereotypical and hypocritical, but I think if you Can't feel you, yourself yeah, getting anxious, have something that's that you for know... That's easier for you to tell after what we had. <laughs> yeah. But, like, if you feel yourself getting to that point, have something that you can, like, whether it be putting a music on, grabbing a book, grabbing a journal, writing something down. Get I'll have a something stress that... Yeah. Did I did I give you the uh I thought you were stressful at Christmas. No, but did I give you the stress pig? I bought I you a pig so. Where's that gone then? I bought you a little uh, pig in the shape of a stress pig from Panland that you can just pull about. What's happened to that then? You probably dismembered it. No, I put it somewhere. Find something that will take your attention straight off of it. And preoccupy and like send you deep into another realm, in essence, so that you can be like, mm, okay, we forget about that, and it yeah, <clears throat> and then go back to it at a later time when you're feeling a bit more uh, but, able to deal yeah. with it. Tell us your favourite joke. I need a laugh. Love to you both. Thank you. 
Um, I'm rubbish at. Oh, actually, it's not a. No, I can say one, but it's rude. As long as it's not swearing or no. offensive. No, it might be offensive to something. I actually don't know. I'm not good at jokes. Well, I'm that what's person. Why did the chicken cross the road? All that thing, isn't it? Yeah, see, I'm that type of person that if you're telling me a joke, you've got to explain it. Oh, whereas I, I look at Jim Davidson and he tells the jokes and I'm like, Bleh. Yeah, Jim Davidson's like... <laughs> We've seen him, haven't we? Um, a joke. I'm trying to think because Dan tries to tell jokes. Um, Sometimes I get them and sometimes I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, um, why did the chicken get a red card? Because he pulled a foul move. Oh, I was right. like, that's yeah. terrible. Right. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> he was laughing away. That's looked oh, well, that's a chicken, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't laugh at the window. I had a round of coffee for it. You got any? <laughs> well, I but I can't say it. X rated mum and G1. How do I learn to love my body? It's the only one that we have. Yeah. And I think a lot goes on in the body, not just externally. Our body does a hell of a lot of stuff inside that we don't see. Keeps us alive, pumps the blood around, changes all the toxins, all of that. And I think what the body does inside is a lot more important than potentially what the outside looks like. It doesn't matter what you look like. I think I, I've now Emma? tried... Emma? I mean, I say I try to fuel the inside better, but over the past two days, I've eaten quite a lot of Domino's pizza. But, but I Shannon, am trying to drink more what, water. Yeah, what happened in January? You lost a stone, didn't you? No, I lost eight pounds. Eight and a half pounds. I went in on my friends' stone. <laughs> they, were, they was going very good, very good. I lost just over eight yeah, pounds. Yeah. I don't think I'll have lost that much because I've been to the cabin. and. But saying that, we have been doing a lot of walking. I genuinely That's think right, yeah. is the main thing. Walking is like the be all and end all. When did you and Dan realise you were falling for each other as I know you were friends before? <laughs> it kind of just flowed. Let's say like we was best friends and then But it's a group just of happened. you, wasn't it? Well, no, Other people involved. Me, Keely yeah. and Dan and then yeah. she went off and left me on to bigger, better things. Very, very jealous of her. And then we were still chatting and all of that. And then, I don't know, you just talk and you're in, like, similar situations and you bounce off each other and then, let's say, next thing you knew, it just fell into place. There was not that awkwardness. Like, I always said, I couldn't go back to dating where it was, like, the talking stage. Like, what's your favourite colour? What do you do? Oh, no, that, that horrifies me. So, wouldn't you know to do first dates with Fred? No, that would horrify me. I would. Put me on this. <laughs> Fred, <Where's> here <laughs> Whereas, like, there was none of that because we knew everything about each other. So, yeah, but here we are. See where life takes us, my lovelies. Do either of you have any regrets in life? If so, why? I still stand by my biggest regret. And mum absolutely hates it when I say this. I never would have got in relationships at a young age. Because I think I missed Your out opinion. a lot on my youth. Now oh. I'm reliving my youth. Well, I'm glad you did because I like that man. <laughs> Everyone wants a high school thing, and when you're in it and come out of it, you're like, hmm. But a lot, a lot of your friends, you know, when you was in it with your your fella? There's no one from our school that um, no. stayed now. We was the no. last ones. But it's quite sad, isn't it? But I think it's more so when you get out into the big world and you meet other people, isn't it? You're very lucky if you say it, stay with your first love, isn't it? I think it's not necessarily me and new people. I think it's the growing up. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, men don't always grow up at the same speed as women. And that's where I think the differences are. Yeah, yeah. What's your regrets if you have any? Uh, maybe not being so stupid with uh, inheritance that I had. Money. <clears throat> yeah. That somebody had me over and I just didn't... But I should have listened to my stepdad. But you think you know best at a young age, don't you? And but I'm hey -ho. total opposite with mum yeah. to money. But you always say to me, you not Not be a borrower or lender, mum. I'm always switched on. Hope you're both well. 
and lovely to see you so happy, Sham. Big hugs, love you both. Thank you very much, my lovely. Love you Thank lot. you. What's the best way to boost confidence after being convinced everything is wrong with me? That's sad. Yeah. Just say to the people, I'm beautiful. That's me. I put two fingers up at them. Hey, yeah. Well, trust you. Yeah, I was being polite. I'd say, me is me. If you don't like the way I talk, well, blah, blah, you know? And if they said to me, you can't do that, I'd go around and I'd make sure I'm determined to do it. Yeah, yeah. The amount of people in the run-up to me going to Dominican said, you can't, you can't really go all that way on your own. You're only doing it to prove a point that you can do it on your own. You don't need to prove a point. Who are you proving a point to? And I was like, no, I'm proving a point to everyone yeah. who is saying, she ain't going to go. She's bluffing. She won't do this. la di da di da Guess who went? Yeah. And all of them people had egg on their face. Yeah. And I lived my best little solo life adventure. Yeah. Do you want children in the future? No. I can't see it happening. I have always said, if situations were different or circumstances, but for me right now, no. travelling and property is my main... Concern. Yeah, I couldn't see children getting involved in my life within like... I say for a good three, five years. I want to focus on getting property, getting investments, building a career, travelling the world, and all of that jazz, really. I don't mind being a toddler's grandma. So. I told you I'll get you a dog or a fish. I don't want a dog or a fish. <laughs> what do you like more, summer or winter? Summer. I like summer abroad, but I like winter in the UK. Do you? Yeah. I, I hate like summer in England. I hate summer in England. Why? So too much. It's so sticky. But it's nice, isn't it? What, sticky heat? There's no sea breeze? No, but obviously it's nice to see the sun, isn't it? Hmm. Is your name Shannon Lee? Or is your name Shannon and your surname Lee? Shannon Lee is my name. I've never disclosed my surname. I never will do, but... In terms of the channel, I'm just Shannon Lee. What's your favourite takeaway order? Pizza or chornies? <laughs> Mine would have to be a curry. Even though I don't have good luck with the local Indians in my oh, area. Yeah, yeah. If I have an Indian now, I will only eat it going to the restaurant. Because even when mum goes to pick it up, there's still a delay or something's wrong, so I just don't trust but it. But mind you, that was lovely last year, wasn't it? I haven't had an Indian takeaway probably since, not last year, the year before Valentine's. Oh. When they turned up at gone 11 o'clock. Oh, my God, no. That was almost two years ago, and I've not had an Indian yeah. takeaway since. What's both of your biggest icks? Arrogance. Like, Jack, what does someone do, and you're like, oh. Jack being Jack the lad. What takeaway is the best thing to eat? I would say a curry. Yours is pizza or Chinese. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Could you please do another chat about the supernatural, please? No. Of course. No. <laughs> Mum gets very freaked out about the supernatural. I, on the other hand, love it. So, yes, I will put that in the diary for another topic to revisit. Do not worry. What is one thing that you love and find annoying about each other? You love and find annoying. Mm. <clears throat> I love your sense of humour. But the thing Man. I find anno annoying you sometimes, you uh, you think you're the mother and I'm the child. <laughs> Not domineering. Do domin domineering? Domineering, <laughs> innit? But you come across as bush. You know? I am very direct to you. Yeah, yeah, very. So my thing that is mum's annoying is when she has her temper tantrums. And I do feel like the parent and I have to well, snap, her back, yeah. <laughs> snap her back in to remind her that she's actually the adult. And what do I love about mum? Probably her NFA, NF, uh, no, NFG attitude. No boop given. Which has only developed since I actually started helping her use her voice. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you like. What don't you like about me? I said when you have your temper tantrums. Oh, right, well, okay. And yeah. I have to remember you. I have to remind you that you're the adult in this, and oh, I have oh. to rein you in. Oh. <laughs> Energy prices are being dropped in April, but everyone thinks that they're going up. No, they're are, being dropped. Oh, are they? Martin. Yeah. Good old Martin, Martin Lewis. Lewis. Contact are me, Martin. Are they actually being dropped? £300. And then let me guess, in September or October, no, they'll no, be put back up. No, that's going to be there for the end of the year, Shannon. Oh. Call me, Martin. Call me. What is your next hair colour going to be and when? Love you and Mama G. Thank you very much. I'm I don't be actually ready. know. We need to get yours topped up. You wouldn't let me rebook you in to have that done. No, but I want to be bright red. You said no. I said you could be maybe a muted red. <sighs> it was nice the colour you had before. Yeah, Burgundy. Most, but, I, but I want to be more out there. Maybe I'll get my lady to come to the house and she can go through colours with me. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I know that it will probably get changed. I'm going to say is a lot, isn't it? May time it will get changed by. I mean, I might just wing it and keep whacking the colour of blue on until I use my bottle up, but I'm not too sure. Definitely May it will be changed, though, because... But why couldn't you get that lady to come do your roots so it's bright blue again? I because, like do you it. know, it's so much. It's not even that much difference to pay for roots to a whole head now. Oh, right. Oh. So I think if I'm having someone here, they might as well do the whole head. Yeah. What sort of property are you looking to move out to? Do you worry about Mama G? She'll be fine. I've got to get an Thank iPad. Thank you. It's all right. Thank you. Don't worry about Mama G. I've got to get an iPad so she can communicate every night. And I'm looking for either a semi-detached or a detached house. I've stipulated I, I can't do a flat. Number one, the flats in our area are far too small. And I really want a garden. It won't be my forever home, but it's somewhere... I want to do kind of like a flip around in five years. But if Something... the money's there, Shen, it could be your forever home, wouldn't it? No. Oh. Because my forever home would be right up north. Oh, right. So I'm looking into like up to two hours away, which a lot of you have probably been like, oh my God, two hours from mum. I don't mind a bit of a drive, and there's ways and means of mum getting into other areas. Yeah. If she... I mean, you could drive the motorways yourself. No. Or trains. Trains. Or she'll get dialed up to drive. That would be the thing. Let's have a look. And there was one more. I think I took it on my phone. Let me have a look. Ah, here we are. I was asked on my bank. Oh, let me quickly One more that I had on my phone because I was like, oh, do you want me to do it on a Moments with Mama Jill McBang? And they said, McBang for both of us. I've been speaking to this guy a lot and we've been out a couple of times. But he's saying that being in a relationship is scary for him. What do I do? Do I continue with it and see what happens? Or do I cut my losses and only bother with someone that's wanting more? No, continue, I think. I'd say continue. I would continue, but give a time frame. Yeah, yeah. I'd say, like, well, let's see how this goes for maybe, say, the next month. Or three but months. Three months, i Three months. That doesn't matter. She can find out. They've already been out a couple of times yeah. and they've been speaking a lot. yeah. Okay, let's if so you've been speaking for a month, two months, I would give like three months max. Yeah. Not three months from now, I would be like three months in total. Oh. So if you've been speaking for like a month, month and a half, I'd be like, look, let's see where we are in a month, a month and a half time. And if it's still too scary for you, then clearly this isn't going anywhere. Oh, I would I would give it the three months. Ah, right, but if she's already been talking for about right, a month right. or that, yeah, I'll see. Because but, I think but that's not a couple fair. of dates. All right, because then that's not <coughs> fair on, on the lady because yeah. you're hanging around waiting for someone to be like, oh, do I, don't I? And right. sometimes that indecisiveness is the answer because it's and, like, and also, I'm not committed. If she, uh, seen the other side of the coin, if she did do that and he said no, would it not that lady's confidence? You know? I just think, be honest. I would give, yeah. however long you've been speaking, I will give the three months max, so if it's been a month or two or whatever, and then I'd be like, right, that's the thing, Where then going. decide yeah. what you want to do after because clearly it's not working for you and if, if you feel like it's wasting your time... Be up front, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't um, hang around and then if he does say, oh, I still don't know, I'd just be like, mm. because the thing is, if you walk away, he'll then realise, oh, shit, like, mm. I've lost a good thing there and you could be out living your best life. So, uh, yes, I would and say... hopefully he doesn't see a lot... As a friend, doesn't he? No, because these same relationships are scary. So if it's yeah. scary for him, he may be... You don't know what's happened in the past, though, do you? 
but you need to put your big boy pants on and decide what yeah. you want to do and not yeah. string someone along. Yeah, yeah. Trust you, he's so bloody brun, isn't it? Mum, where do you get in life pussy footing and sugar cone? No, things? I know, but you're very much to the bang, to the wire, aren't you? Sometimes. You don't sort of say, well, this could be that. Yeah. Bang, Shannon's there, bang. I put suppose that's good, isn't it? But it's just, like, on. it's just like, as you're getting older, I'm finding you're more sort of, <laughs> you know? <laughs> When you was little dancing and fell down at your head, all oh, rubbish, all oh, dancing. Now you're like, this is the way it is, mate. No, <laughs> you're rubbish. <laughs> nanny G, uh, great <laughs> Nanny G, a smoker night, isn't it? You know. Oh God. Now I'm not always direct. <laughs> Never done her any harm. No, no, and she'd always say, wouldn't she? This is it. You either go that path or that path. There's no point sugarcoating things. No, no, no. It'll only come out in the end, so. That was, um, you've left a bit of yours. I'm still tucking into mine. No, I'm tucking into this as yeah. I'm editing. What was your favourite bit of it? Everything. I really like the prawn toast. I am a sucker for a good prawn toast at Chinese. Oh, like no. the nice big fresh ones. Mm -hmm. You like your bowie buns. Mm. So, my lovelies, that is another monthly episode of our McBangs. And as Thank I say, you, viewers. Thank you for guys for sending them in because if not, it'd just be us putting in absolutely waffling rubbish as per eating. Yeah, <laughs> there's no change for always. Are yeah, you? Yeah. <laughs> um, tomorrow actually, I'm cooking a broth, I'm doing a good old fashioned northern broth because I said we're all a bit under the weather, and I think a nice broth just what we need to make us feel a bit better. Well, I'm all right. Oh, well, I'm trying to keep the lurkers away from you. Yeah. If she starts getting ill next week, she'll say, This is all your fault. You don't kiss me no more, viewers. Oh, in case you ever got the germs. No, but you don't hug me no more, do you? I'm not a hugger. As I've got older, I'm not a hugger. That's she, what my she therapist me, she viewers, says to right? Me. Be quiet, Shane. She texts me Monday. Uh, got here, Mum. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. it? Wept at one. Tuesday, the phone didn't rattle. <laughs> Wednesday, the phone didn't rattle. Thursday, didn't rattle on Friday. I come back Friday, no. I was like, Mum, oh, she's not here. She's I, out. I come in on Friday from having lunch with my friend, and she says to me, where you been? Where you been? <laughs> what are you doing out on a Friday afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> my phone did rattle for, since my <coughs> viewers. Is this the, the perception I'm going to get when she goes? One text, Mum, I've moved in. I'll speak to you next week. There weren't actually great signal in the place. Oh, I'll let you off in channel. I've only got your way to find out. I thought I'd tell you that I got there. Oh, that's very kind of you, isn't it? I could have just said to Dada, I'll tell Mum that I'm here. No. Because he was the first one to be like, oh, send us a video of the cabin. Oh, right. And then he replied back, spoiled bugger. <laughs> I was like, mm. well, I've worked for it and I've paid for it, so I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, well, don't you uh, send him a video first with that and what? Oh, well, your phone doesn't even do videos? No, I know, but that's beside the point. You got the message first, and then right, we got the video. Right, right. I thought he would have showed you when you went down there in the week. No, no, he's all right. No. But yes, guys, if you did enjoy that video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below, and leave us a comment. What was your favourite question, or what was? What should we give our favourite question? Yeah, let us know what your favourite question is, and what do you think looked best on the plate for the Chinese food, guys? Take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.